Cheers. What's going on, everyone? Hello, hello. We're at a wedding. Hey, with some Brits. We're at a wedding. Yeah, some Brits. We got a couple Brits here. This is a Brit. It's a jolly good pie. I'm a Brit I just too. met this guy tonight. <laughs> He's not supposed to be smoking cigarettes, but he is. His girl's gonna see this later and just go, fuck him up! <laughs> what are you gonna you say you're sorry? Just say I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, sorry. It's not his fault. No We're at a wedding out in East Jabal Fuck. We drove like four fucking hours out here. It's not his fault. Uh, it's a beautiful wedding, small wedding. I'm loving it. We're all, we're all drinking, having fun. Yeah. First first time uh, I've ever seen somebody have to make a liquor run during a wedding, but you know, hey, shit happens. The bartender didn't show up. So, Amanda. And uh, was it Honor? Honor. Honor. Don't pay that motherfucker. That's probably like $500 there. Deduct that, man. You know, no liquor. But anyway, we're having a good time. Look, beautiful winery out here. The sun's setting, and we're having a good time. And uh, you know, we'll make our way in there, and we'll probably, uh, I don't know, what are we going to do inside? Utter debauchery. Utter debauchery. We're going to tear shit up, you know. Back good. I'm not dancing, dude. Like, <laughs> you got to dance, bro. For me, me dance. Put the sun went down. You got to dance. For me, my viewers used to see me with a hat on. Like, I had jet or hairspray. It's like my hair. I'm looking like fucking Hitler. All I need is like a little fucking mustache in the middle. Of but right, we're gonna make our way in there and have a good time. All right, Rebecca just left us because she she loves this song, but she only knows one verse of the entire song because she doesn't speak Spanish or you know, what is it Despacito? Yeah. All right, little shot of vodka here. There's no vodka here. No whiskey. <sighs> Wash it down with some hot devil. First to smoke. Now hot devil. So as I vlog from a porta potty, I'm sorry, Amanda, and I honor you uh, see this. By the way, on the way here, I uh, had explosive diarrhea. First stop was Wawa. Second stop was the side of the highway on here. I had to hide back in the woods along some farmland. Third stop was a Sunoco, like a Wawa. Fourth stop was the motel. As Rebecca checked in, I ran to the public bathroom. And then fifth stop was our bathroom. Then I showered, cleaned myself up, and we're here. Sorry if that was gross, but yeah, supposed to have diarrhea on a three and a half hour ride. Why did I tell you that? I'm drunk. <laughs> this guy is very yeah, happy. You're right, though. We gotta and wait then and there's that thing over there, whatever the hell that is. I don't know what that is. Oh. That's a half half cock. I heard her doing an accent. I think she's smart. Were you doing an accent? He's taking a fucking piss. Are you fucking when making fucking accents? <laughs> He's taking a fucking piss. I told you. I, I see, it's not just me. I like, you were doing the accent when you came over, right? I heard it. <laughs> you fucking water. You saw us out a bottle of water. You fucking water. You fucking water. Fucking hell. You take me for a fucking mug. You bloody hell. God, you fucking bellies. What's going yeah, on Rebecca's in that room? Rebecca's telling stories about sex, about some man trying to have sex with her. It wasn't sexual, it was literally a karaoke room full of fucking Brits. She's also bartending. No, they sing. Rebecca was born I was in, in Europe. I was in a fucking karaoke now. room full of like, I don't know, 70 fucking Brits. Yeah, dump those whams out and put them on the ball. <laughs> Huge tits, making babies later. I, I am such a wonderful boyfriend, wish I should be no, husband. As Rebecca dances, right now we're uh, deciding where we're gonna go to a bar. There's a BJ's around here. It's 0.9 miles away. But there is no liquor left. I mean, there was no liquor to begin with. There's no uh, beer. Everything's running out. And in PA, the laws are a lot different. You can't get shit past 10 o'clock, and it, the wedding's still 10. And Rebecca and me gotta make babies. But we're gonna be so drunk later, we're gonna make any fucking babies. Rebecca. This is the Rebecca that I fell in love with. See, she's, look at her, look, she's having a time of her life. Dance. 
because she's fucking fucked up. Look at her, look at her. I'm so proud. I hate this fucking song though. Yeah, but you're dancing. <laughs> Oh shit, we got fireworks. Wow, that's pretty awesome. I know it's not for the wedding, but that's pretty cool. No, we're trying to call on it. Really. Shit, still recording. <laughs> and this wedding has fireworks. They planned all this out. Very, ex very expensive, guys. Now that's cool as shit, though. Somebody's lighting up fireworks. A little late 4th of July. The horse and carriage won tonight. The Amish fireworks at the racetrack, man. Rebecca is currently requesting uh, Whitney Houston. I want to dance with somebody because we just missed it during the fireworks display, which is awesome, by the way. All right, we're home, everybody. Good night. This is the end of the video. I apologize. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. I'm an important body drink beer. Like that tattoo on your shoulder Pull the sheets right off the cover All my dreams are you saw me From your own way back in the water We ain't ever getting older getting Big old titties, look at this thing Bum, 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 bum I can, I'm too fat She loves the chain smokers She went through a whole vacation to see them Look at this lamb's bouncing Bounce, bounce DJs are like, yeah, yeah, big old titties, bounce up. Yeah, look at that titties, bounce up. Yo, she's coming with us to the club, buddy. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Living and loving life right now. <laughs> All right, the bride is joining her now, Amanda.
So, you're now, well, you, I heard you were married before though. Yeah, yeah. Been, uh, but now you get to have another wedding celebration. How do you feel? It's like you got married all over again? Yes. I know you're a man short of words. I heard your speech. We just did a courthouse before. Yeah, so, I'm, ceremony. I'm just meeting you tonight. You seem like an awesome man. Your woman is very awesome too, and I'm, I wish you nothing but luck, man. Now go in there and grind on your grill. God damn it. <laughs> Sweet Caroline! <laughs> Best song. Best wedding song. What? Never. Sing it again. She was like, Sweet Caroline. Oh, oh, she is like, she, she, pretty, she pretty drunk? She, pretty drunk. <laughs> she don't get out much. Hey, Rebecca, what's going on, man? He's good. Rebecca. He's gonna be fine. Rebecca's over here shouting. Cross the wits! Cross the wits! Jordan Matthews, all right? I mean, fine, if they can get that connection, if they can get the spirit down, because Bradford fucking sucks. It was like, literally like, Nick Foles, Sam Bradford, like, eh, de -de 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 -de. that was all that was. But now Nick Foles is like our backup again. Isn't that funny? <laughs> Rebecca, who's your favorite football play football team? The Philadelphia Eagles. Who's your favorite football player of all time? Ooh. It's Sean. Deshaun! Yeah, yeah, yeah. Miss him. Yo, her greatly. mom is a he's hardcore back. Green Bay no, Packers he's definitely fan, not by the way. <laughs> oh, he's yo, and they no, battle. Yo, they travel to go watch the game together. Oh, and I, her mom's trying to turn our kids into Green Bay Packers fans. Oh, you were, you were into With, the, the playoffs? Were you there for the playoffs? I wasn't awesome. there for the playoffs, but. Alright, let them they, be. They're doing a combo with it fully. The football. So it's going to be even farther. Good job to Bristol, TA. Alright, we're at the hotel motel. Um, Rebecca's gonna go pee behind that dumpster. I'm not gonna say anything. Let's go get her, let's go. Oh, I was gonna go scare you! Damn it! You definitely would have too. There was like a rustler, there's like a mattress. Oh, so we can go make our third baby on that mattress. Look at that. That's calling her name, babe. That's where we're going to make our little, um, uh, shemokin. Little shemokin if it's a boy. If it's a girl, we don't know what we're going to call her. But that's shemokin. If we're shemokin on that mattress. This is how we make babies. Not really, though. Oh, car pulling up. Shit. She, you won this round? I did. But see, guys, I'm already done. So the game's over. I win. I win. Yes. I win. Yes. I've been dying for a whiskey. Sorry. You're alive. You're alive. You want rest? Alright, I'm about to go smoke. You're out here doing rock, paper, and scissor, drinking games. I don't know what's going on. Let's say it's Rebecca. Hey Rebecca, what's going on with those uh, big old titties ears? 
Oh, you just say what? Rock, too soon. Rock, too. Okay, it's okay. All right. Um, We're making babies tonight. Shout out to uh, Honor. To our future kid if it ever if it ever happens. Your dad's a loser. I'm at a wedding and now I'm at. Where the fuck am I? BJ's. BJ's. <laughs> Me and my girl, um, we're working on having our third child, and I asked for BJ's earlier. She said, dude, no. like, that's not how we make babies. I was like, yeah, I know. But we were just having a good conversation. I just met all these nice ladies here. Heather. Caitlin. Caitlin. Hannah. Hannah. Nice woman here. We're talking about on the way here. We drove three and a half hours for this fucking wedding. There's sex shops everywhere. Now, Heather. <laughs> Heather, you're the, seem the older and mature one. Yes. What the fuck is going on out here? <laughs> Nothing the, else to do. There's bass fishing and there's like, let's go to a sex shop and rub one out to... Don't they have computers at home to do that? Like, Internet goes out a lot. That, that's what I said on the way too. I was like, there is no internet here. So, And I had a conversation with my, with my girl, my future wife. She's like, well, why would they all go in there? I was like, I don't know. I mean, there is no internet, or they're very religious, and <laughs> their wife doesn't understand how a man needs to, you know, sometimes the woman does, like I said to her, I like, you don't want me around you all the time. So she's like, go to public stop, blow it out, go, go fishing, and go out and do your thing. And I don't know, this isn't quite as good as it was, but. <laughs> but hey, anyway, local. <laughs> This is a very, no, this is a very nice area you guys are at, and I'm very jealous. Um, at a, yeah, I meant it. <laughs> <laughs> That's all that matters, all right? All right, TJ. The porn. I. I <laughs> oh. See, I was just walking away. She's going to show him. You're ready to talk about sex. Okay. <laughs> How do I, what do you want me to just say hi. hi. I'm a normal human being. <laughs> Do any of those people that go to the sex shops come in here though? And dine and wine and drink here? Or like, uh, not, not, that, sure. not that I hope not. Uh, maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's good for them. <laughs> the sex shop. But, um, 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 the one time my friend, um, she lived over there across the trail park and we went up. We, there was no parking spot over there. So we parked at the sex shop and we had to go in there. <laughs> This is awesome already, thank you. <laughs> we had to go in to ask so we didn't get our car towed. I went in there and the first thing I saw was a big bowl of free tootsie rolls, so of course I took them. <laughs> <That's what you're... laughs> so apparently the sex shops here offer free tootsie rolls. Yes. Um, now you, how old are you before I go up to you? I'm only 18. I am not talking to you. Wait, I'm you're, not, I don't go around and get another stuff. You're under 18, right? I'm over, I'm, I'm exactly Oh, you're fine 18. then, okay. You're good. You, you're illegal. <laughs> I'm illegal. <laughs> no, you are legal. You're 18 yes, now. Yeah. So, uh, uh, what's going on over here in this community? What, what town are we in, actually? Seals Grove. Where the fuck? Where am I? We drove four <laughs> hours out here. I'm, I'm not sure, honestly. I so, ask myself that question coming here every day. <laughs> have you lived here your whole life? Not in this specific town, but around here. Yeah. Around here, okay. Yeah. So, what do you think when you obviously have a driver's license? When you drive by and you see this big billboard to say, like, hey, sex shop. 1.5 miles away, and you're like three miles later, you're like fireworks. You're like, fuck! I gotta go to this sex shop and get some fireworks, and then fish for bass. What do you think? People try to pass their time in any way they can, I guess. It's a little boring out here sometimes. Can I say from from my personal experience as a 35 year old man with a hairline and two kids? Stay away from the people that go to the sex shop. Because <laughs> they probably come here. I wouldn't doubt it. <laughs> you know, I'm, I know you can't say their names, but I'm sure you, or as you work here, you're familiar with them. There's the, the ones that come here at like 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, when you're about to close, and it's like, they look at you and just stare at you with deep eyes. Like, yeah. I usually work, <laughs> I can't even do this. Like, your bar is called fucking BJ's, okay? Like, Jesus! Sorry, don't joke on its own. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for being a good sport. Yeah. You're 18, so I'm not going to jail. <laughs> you too. Thank you. And the Tootsie Rolls, it's funny. <laughs> Heather. How old are you, Heather, by the way? If you mind me asking, I'm sorry to ask. I'll be 47 at the end of the year. Damn, Heather, you look good for 47. <laughs> no, you, do, you look, I was going to say, like, in maybe 30. You look really good. Good for you. Oh, thank you. I'm 35, man. Yeah. 
<laughs> Pass it to thank you. It's crazy town. What? Uh, Alright. Here with my man. Got Jack Robert Ellis. You're an uncle. I am a new uncle. <laughs> and it's a it's a boy. Look. It's a boy. Oh, he's got the baby hammer cut out good. <laughs> oh, congratulations, man. So what's it like to be a new uncle? Excellent. <laughs> you gotta hand out gifts left and right, man. Yes. <laughs> Because that bitch on fire. Alright, Rebecca's out here speaking Spanish. Despacito. Don't walk in the street, you fucking idiot. Get out what are you doing? Get out of the road. Hey! Come on, next thing you know, didn't didn't you see Ozarks where next thing the mom gets hit by the car? Get out of the road, you idiot! Get over here. I'm not there in this. I don't care. Get over here. Rebecca, I'm gonna slap those titties so hard. It's the smallest town I've like been in in a while. Hey, hey, what I tell you? Hey, what I tell you? You smashed my chest on my titties. Good titties, chest, whatever. Give me that cigarette. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm checking my my eye my eye watch. To get like a hot dog or something. We're going. I'm so hungry. We have to go. Oh my All right, we're walking back to the car. Yep. Rebecca, shh. I know. Shh. Hey, you don't get killed. She she wants to die tonight. I'm telling you. This is this video is all about you, Rebecca. <laughs> This one is where you go back and like, yeah, that's Masito. <laughs> big old titties. <laughs> hey kids, some French toast. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sheets. Just like Wawa. Alright, we're at Sheets. Uh, basically like Wawa. Rebecca just overdrafted our account. Awesome. Um, I'm in the backseat of the car. I am shit face. I'm so tired. I'm so hungry. And I'm sure she is as well. And um Yeah, Sheets is awesome though, I'm not gonna lie, dude. She ordered hot dogs though, dude. There was like burgers and all that I don't even want we'll tell you that. all those people that know Sheets and know Wawa experience both, you can understand. This is my first time experiencing Sheets. This place is awesome. It's like a Wawa to the whole other level. We have Sheets! Not bed sheets, but sheets! Not Jesse sheets, but sheets! Why? What you got in the bag? What's in the bag, bitch? Oh, this is our room. This is where we're gonna make our third baby. Right there. But in reality, it's not gonna happen. We're <laughs> eating fall asleep. <sighs> I can't name. But you gotta feed me, girl. You feed me? <laughs> Rebecca said, can you unzipper me? I got you. Yeah, you just never. Uh, I can't do it one hand. We eat a bunch of food tonight. Bye. That's where I had explosive diarrhea. One of the five spots. Alright, uh, Amanda and Honor. I don't know either of you personally. I've only, I think I met Amanda one time. Honor, I got the privilege of meeting you tonight during your your renewable wedding. Like, you know, you guys apparently had a small wedding where, you know, you didn't have people there. Maybe me and Rebecca will do that one day, and then, I mean, I don't want to do it just the legal way, but then we'll do a big wedding later, but, uh, honestly, it was awesome to, to have you guys, uh, allow us to be your wedding. Obviously, Amanda, you know Rebecca very well. I'm just officially meeting, I think Amanda, like I just said, I met you one time, it's probably shit, babe. but, um, I had such a good time, Rebecca and I had such a great time, as you saw. My one apology is, like, um, Rebecca and I didn't really discuss the wedding, you know, we got kids under mom, kid diapers, and fucking eye formula, and all that crap. Uh, if I had known that you did not have a wedding videographer, I would have filmed the speeches your friends had such nice speeches. You both did. You and your husband 
great speeches and the wedding was so much fun small wedding the best part was surprisingly it was like there was no bartender we just was like let's go serve ourselves you know it was a really good time and um and hopefully you too you know i know you guys don't have any children but hopefully you can have children someday as you saw rebecca and i if you want to do that we have children now and as i joked around the video we were working on our third kid but oh, wedding and then going to sheets and, the, oh, and eating and <laughs> didn't happen and uh, you know i got my uh my best dad ever shirt that I purchased by myself with, of course, it tucked in just like a wedding. Fancy green shorts. Yeah, does it hurt? I bought it myself after, uh, apparently after Father's Day, I'm learning. Because, you know, I like t-shirts that are, you know, I gain weight, lose weight. The XLs, XXLs are always really cheap after Father's Day because nobody gets them. I'm like, what? There's so many skinny dads out there. How's that possible? This t-shirt, the Target was not only, it normally would have been like $10 or $12. It was... Not three dollars, not two ninety nine, but two ninety eight on a discount rack at Target, and I'm just rocking it like I love it. You know? So hopefully my kids someday or your kids someday will buy you know Otter. You have kids are like you get the best dad ever shirt. Sure. I slowly collect all these ones. It's so corny, it's stupid, but you know. Anyway, <laughs> but again, I want to say thank you. We had such a good time. Rebecca and I don't get out much. The last time we got out together was a wedding before that, and. I figure, why don't I just have a quick conversation with you guys? But again, I can see you guys are really good people, and all your friends are. Everybody was so welcoming, and the best conversation I had was Amanda with your your family about uh, my implantable defibrillator. Um, I believe it's your aunt. I apologize if I'm wrong. You know, we we're drinking a lot, and uh, she actually does that for a living. And uh, her husband, your uncle, just so welcoming, and kind. Everybody was so good, and I had such a good time out there. And you know, hopefully we can all get together again someday. Um, I don't know, I don't want to talk forever. Um, but again, I want to say the one thing I can apologize about is if I would have known, I would have recorded all that stuff and I bust out the camera like probably like an hour before the wedding even ended. Um, we even showed up late because the traffic was a bitch and I had explosive diarrhea. <laughs> I mean, explosive, like, yeah, as I ended up before that. I said, oh yeah, that's where I pooped. Yeah, cool. Rebecca's sitting there on the side. I'm like, oh, I'm trying to hide. I'm like, oh, this is something you don't want your your lover to see. You don't want them to see you squat and go. <laughs> Horrible. <laughs> and by the way, the fence was electrocuted. So, like, I kind of tipped it. And I was like, man, if I explode, it was like Puma. Piss out my ass. It was wet. So if I would have hit that, it might have been, like, electrocuted. I'm like, yeah, like, fuck. Because I've seen people pee on those electrocuted fences in the past in stupid videos. But... Never seen somebody do explosive diarrhea, boom, I pissed out my ass on it. I was like, ah, fuck, can you imagine that? I, I made sure I was, I literally looked at it, because I was sober, you know, we were sober driving here. I was like, oh, and I started to go this, I was like, don't hit that fence. You're going to get electrocuted, and you'll be one of those, like, crazy stories, like, this guy died on his way to a wedding because he had explosive diarrhea, and boom, it on. <laughs> Electrified fence, but anyway, I'm going off topic. But again, before, before we left, we went to pick up the car. Um, Amanda, you and Honor were there. I accidentally beat the horn. I think that's why you guys were like out there and heard us. Um, best wedding, man. Honestly, it was such such a good time. But he came out immediately, and I, I took out my contacts and I put these on. And, you know, I could tell you're you're an honest, good person because you're like, yo, you uh, your eyes are big as shit. And I was like, you with this glasses, like, yeah. So I like people that tell it how it is. So hopefully, in the future, we can all hang out. And uh, I just like to say thank you. For a nice, uh, you know, I wish it was like a two day weekend, but it was like basically like a one and a half day weekend. It was mostly a lot of driving. But you guys are good people, and I wish you nothing but luck in your uh, future renewed vows. And uh, cheers to that as I just clean up the fucking house as we prepare for our son, our second born son's first birthday. And maybe I'll end up with a time lapse like I usually do on my vlogs, but I'm going to send you this privately for your own personal use too as well. And again, I apologize, you guys aren't in there much, it's just, you know, but you can see it. Rebecca and I were having a really good time, and what I did shot, uh, shoot of your friends and stuff, and uh, again, good times. And uh, again, guys, you take care, and I send it like I normally do. Again, stop judging, start loving, accept all this for that, and just be yourself. Meow. That's my super vlogs. But uh, seriously, guys, awesome time. Hope to, got, hope to hang out with you guys in the future. Take care. <laughs> and to my future son or daughter, we didn't get a chance to make you tonight. Instead of making you on the sheets, we were eating sheets.
on the sheets to eat. Oh.